Hello friends, welcome to Azure Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we just going to see how to draw projection of line. The condition is it's inclined to both HP and VP. After completion of the diagram, we will be having the output just like this. We will be seeing step by step. So question is a straight line AB is 70 mm long. So 70 mm long will be denoting the true length of the line. One end of the line is 15 mm above HP and 45 mm in front of AB. So one point will be above HP, that is above X Y line, and another point will be uh, in front of VP, that is 45 mm in front of VP. The line is inclined at an angle of 40 degree to HP and 30 degree to VP. Draw its projection. Find the apparent inclination. So apparent inclination will be denoting the uh, top view and front view angle, and we need to measure the front view and top view. And finally, we need to locate the traces. So these are the given data. So AB is 70 mm. Uh, the one point will be 15 mm above HP and 45 mm in front of VP. So first step is we need to draw a reference line. So XY is your reference line and we need to write VP HP. VP means vertical plane, HP means horizontal plane. The next step is plotting the point. They clearly mentioned that one point will be 15 mm above HP. So from reference axis, take 15 mm distance and draw a line. And from reference axis, take 45 mm below it and draw a line. In this line, we can keep anywhere a point. It can be kept here, it can be kept here so like this. So you can keep anywhere. So keep a point like this. This is a point and name it as A dash. It, a dash and A should be lying on the same line. So you can use your scale and keep the another point or else you can also draw a thin line with your 2H pencil. So in this line, you will be having the same point. So whatever view we are getting will be a front view and here we will be getting top view. For a front view, we will be putting dash. For top view, we won't put dash. So on the same line, we will be mark another point on the line which is 45 mm in front of VP. So distance here will be 45 mm and distance above will be 15 mm. And you can easily keep your point and name it as A. The next step is they, they give the true length distance Right, so we are having 70 mm from A dash. You can draw a 70 mm line. Angle also they are clearly given. That is uh, 45 degree, 40 degree to HP and 30 degree to VP. Right, so 40 degree. So, so for, keep your protractor at A dash, and this angle will be 40 degree. Keep your protractor at A dash. This angle will be 40 degree and draw a line. The length of the line will be 70 mm and at the end you will be getting a point and this point can be named as B1 dash. A dash B1 dash will be your true length 70 mm. It, it is drawn with an angle 40 degree. Then the next step is keep your protector upside down on the A point. Keep your protector upside down and for 30 degree draw a line. The length of the line should be 70 mm. So true length is same for both right. So for 70 mm and 30 degree, you draw a line. And at the end, you keep the, keep a point and name it as B2. Now, try to draw a locus line. So this is called this locus line. You just draw a line uh, for B1 dash as well as you draw a line for B2 where you mark. So now we have got the four locus, right? So here two, here two. We have got four locus. The next step is always try to extend only your true length. And uh, front view top view will be rotating. So this is the true length. And try to extend this point to the opposite locus. So this is B1 dash means try to extend it with your 2H pencil. Very thin line. Try to put a very thin line and mark a point. So this line is called locus of A. So try to extend it till locus of A and mark the point and name it as B1. Same procedure here also. So you can write the name of the locus like locus of B dash, locus of A dash locus of A, locus of B, locus of should be in caps and B dash, A dash can be in smaller letter. The next step is, repeat the same procedure. This is your true run. Try to extend it to the opposite locus. See here, this is locus of B, right? So you need to extend this line till locus of A dash. So B means opposite will be A, so A dash. So try to extend this line till the opposite locus, which is nothing but locus of A dash. There you just mark a point and name it as B2 dash. Next step is try to measure A dash B2 dash. Take your compass, measure A dash B2 dash and try to rotate it till it touches the locus of B dash. 
keep your protect keep your compass at a dash to measure radius as a dash b2 dash as radius try to rotate it it will be touching the locus of b dash at one point and name that point as b dash the next step is just to join a dash b dash just to join a dash b dash this is your friend u the next step is take your compass keep your compass at a and measure measure a b1 measure a b1 as your radius keep your compass center at a and try to rotate it in reverse direction slightly it will be touching the locus of b at one point and mark that point as b then join a b so a b will be your top u a dash b dash will be your friend u now try to extend so as of now we have completed uh, and we have found out the front view and top view now we are going to plot the trace so first step is extend a dash b dash till the reference line x y it will be meeting the reference line at one point and name that point as h extend a dash b dash to some distance it will be meeting the reference axis that is x y at one point and that point is called h then extend a b the same angle extend a b line till to certain distance it will be meeting the reference axis at one point and that point is called b now just draw a vertical line so h means just draw a vertical line it, this line this line will be meeting a b at one point and that point is called as horizontal trace so you have already got your point h right keep your scale there and try to draw a vertical line the vertical line will be meeting a b that is line a b at one point that point is called as ht horizontal trace same thing keep your scale at b uh, try to draw a vertical line so the point b right so try to draw a vertical line this vertical line will be meeting the line a dash b dash at one point and that point is called as vertical trace so vt means vertical trace and try to after drawing it try to remove this unwanted portion so that the diagram will be very neat so it's a very easy diagram just follow step by step i have drawn using paint so when you are drawing when you are drawing with the exact dimension you will be getting the exact solution also so now we will see how to dimension dimensioning follow whatever i explained in previous videos so once again i will tell try to draw the extension line these are the extension line so extension line should be very very light see to it that extension line should be <coughs> perpendicular to whatever line you are dimensioning for example if i am dimensioning a dash b dash means uh, the extension line should be perpendicular with 90 degree if i am dimensioning a dash b1 dash means extension line should be perpendicular to the a dash b1 dash so extension line should be very light it should be one mm away from the diagram and then draw the dimensioning line dimension line can be drawn with the help of the h pencil uh just draw the dimension line as you wish see to it that for uh, dimensioning uh, it's uh, it's sufficient to dimension only for one time for two lines because both the two lines are same right so you dimension either top or bottom it's your own wish and then try to draw this arrow head arrow head should be sharp pointed and it's be three uh, to one ratio and darken it with your hp pencil after that you try to break the line and write the uh, number whatever you are having so if you measure this line for example if you measure a dash b1 dash means you'll be getting 70 if you measure a dash b dash means you'll be getting 59 same way we'll measure whatever value you are getting you just break the line and write the number vertically as i shown below next step is uh, marking of the angle see to it that the arrow head should be very very small and you can write the number uh, nearer to the arrow heads for like uh, whatever i just did here so arrow head should be sharp pointed if possible try to break the line and write if not also you can write uh, you can write nearby see to it that your diagram should be looking very neat and uh, your you should you should mark this 15 mm and 45 mm in your dimensioning so you 15 and 45 you have to mark it up and after completing you will be drawing the entire diagram in your a3 sheet height of the head uh, height of the heading i mean projection of line is your heading height of the text will be 10 mm these are the subheadings and you need to uh, whatever angles you are getting you just mark here and write as it is and write all dimensions are minimum one is to one as height of the text will be 5 mm so uh, theta will be denoting the true length uh, in angle of inclination true length and alpha will be angle for the front view and phi will be the angle for your true length and beta will be the angle for your 
top view and uh, these dimensioning i mean whatever you got whatever answer you got just write as it is i hope so it's very clear for you in case if you are having any doubt means you can type in the comment section thanks for watching this video and do subscribe my channel mechanical motivated then only you will be receiving all the videos which i upload